Alright guys, what's up? Welcome back to some more EA Sports PGA Tour career mode. Today, we are going to be doing the Masters Moving Day. Scotty Scheffler leads by 11 shots here at Augusta, but we are in a, a tie for third right now. We're playing alongside, I think it was Jordan Spieth here in round three. So it should be a fun one here on moving day. We don't have to worry about playing with Scotty Scheffler anymore. And uh, it should be a lot funner now that we're kind of... We know Scotty's going to win, all right? That's confirmed now through two rounds. We know Scotty's going to win. But we can still do our best and produce a, a good round and maybe finish solo second at the Masters. And that would be a great Masters debut. Can't lie about that. Look at that leaderboard, though. Scotty Scheffler just went AWOL in round two. If you missed that, I don't even know what to say. The first two rounds, to be fair. I think he went seven under, nine under or something. So, yeah, just uh, not not ideal. No, no, sorry. He went seven under, 11 under, was it? Yeah, I think he went seven under, 11 under. He was seven under round one, 11 under would get him to 18 under not not uh not nine under so yeah let's hit uh three wood here He's at 18 under. Scotty Scheffler at 18 under through two rounds at Augusta. Can you believe that? That's just sickening stuff. And that's a bit of a push with the wind that might still reach the bunker. Oh, I should have hit hybrid or I should have hit an iron there off the tee. Because downwind there, that was uh, that was always a risk. I could have maybe gone for a power drive and carried the bunker there with that one. But uh, yeah, it should be fun to play with speed. We haven't played with him in quite a while. Um, he's always an interesting one to play with because I feel like his game in this game is, is very strange. Like it's a low bullet and he always ends up making these weird mistakes. I guess similar to how Jordan Speed does in real life. And there you go. He's into the bunker with us. He's going to have some lip problems there maybe. Um, whereas we do not. We should be fine to go right at this. The lie isn't great though actually. 81 to 90% lie. So I'm going to hit a full 8 iron here. I hope for the best. If it was straight, it would have been perfect on distance. It's not bad at all, honestly. From where I was, that's a pretty damn good shot. Jordan Spieth, let's see if he can get it up and out. He does. Even with his low ball flight, he gets it up there. And that should be pretty damn good from Jordan Spizzle. Ooh, Jordan. Wow. What a shot. Is Jordan going to go away well now today? <laughs> the AI on 97 is just too, uh, too OP. All right, let's see if we can make... Um, Make a little one right to left here. Make an early putt. Would be nice, you know. It's hurt so much. Oh, what an effort, though. What an effort, man. Let's freaking go. Jordan Spieth. From right to left. Turning. Good putt. Good birdie. Amazing birdie from where he was. And Jordan Spieth joins second position. We are now one shot off Jordan in second. I want to make it our goal to come second in this tournament, so... Let's try and make it. Give it our best shot here. We're going to have to beat Jordan Spieth here in round three. Whoa! Dude, I don't know what I was doing. I literally read that the complete opposite. I, for some reason, when I, I saw 1.6 degree below. <laughs> Man, you are one pathetic loser. I read the putt the complete wrong way. I've done that a few times now. I, I don't know if I'm, like, mentally deficient or what, but... That's just... Okay. Wow. <laughs> what an idiot, dude. Bogey on one. We need a PBF. You are the good kind here on the second hole. Maybe even an eagle would be nice here on hole two. Uh, not the way to start it there, though. Scotty Scheffler is going to be teeing off just after us here, so we're going to see if he gets into the 20 unders. Uh, maybe he will if he decides to go Scotty Psycho mode. I don't want to be second heading into round four, though, because then I'm going to be playing alongside him. <laughs> to be fair, it doesn't even matter at this point. He's winning anyway so it's just like we'll see how low he can goddamn go but yeah maybe round three now okay, let, now that we're not playing with him he'll have an average round he'll shoot like one out, under or maybe level par or something all right let's hit a bomb two. here now i'm feeling like a big high draw bomb <laughs> boom didn't draw did not draw at all that's the same well, as speeds it's gonna carry the bunker right. though so it should be okay actually it might be in the rough but it's gonna be okay uh, it will still be reachable from there. It'll just be a long shot in, no doubt. All right, 234 uh, yards. We can we can manage that no problem at all. Jordan Spieth down the hill. Oh, is it gonna kick left or right into the bunker? A little unfortunate for Jordan, but 220 into the wind downhill. I feel like this could work. Like a high four iron here could do the business. Just need you to stay right, man. Please stay right. Please stay right. Could be perfect. Go! Oh, just... If that hit the green instead of the fringe, I feel like it would have run up. But it's still a good eagle chance here. 
So we'll take it. 38 foot 11 inches for an eagle here on two. I want that bounce back eagle so badly. It would be simply, simply lovely. Jordan Spieth from the bunker. Oh, big high one. Give himself six foot for birdie. Good shot. I thought it was going to be in the other bunker for a second, the way that was looking. All right, so this one turns left to right, not right to left, you donut. Okay, so three degrees below. It does turn quite a lot, especially at the start, and then kind of dies down a little bit. So I'll go like 50 foot here, I think, is, is the play. Let's see if we can make it happen. Underswing a touch. Is that going to reach? That was a close one. Oh my gosh! I thought we had it for a second. Good effort. Really good effort there. Charlie looking good in blue. The opposite of his papa's favorite color on Sunday. But we'll be wearing red tomorrow, okay? Sunday red, of course. Jordan Speed misses. Ooh! I thought that was turning in for sure. Tough one to take there for Jordan. And he's going to start birdie par we're gonna start bogey birdie okay, no nice start there, honestly not bad at all i i, I can't complain too much about that we'll, we'll take it jordan tap it in just give it a little tap tap taparoo all right jordan with a little bit of a mixed bag to start but overall a solid start from him as well he's under par through two holes you can never complain about that scotty scheffler bogey's the first hole okay hang on a second now hang on a second now we're only 11 back boys <laughs> i'm not even gonna hit a power drive i'm gonna hit a normal drive i genuinely think normal drive is the play here watch this shot i'm saying it watch this did you hear that no it needed to fade and it didn't fade as much as i wanted and to be honest i needed the power drive still anyway. That was not oh, getting there any day of the week, and that this is going to be quite huge. difficult. All right. Bunkers, yeah, mistake there, but it's okay. It's still in a decent green. position. It's going to be a tough up and down, but at worst, we'll be looking at a par anyway. Jordan Spieth, he's taking a little three wood out. Wow. Okay, baby Jordan. Little three wood down the left side here. Give himself a good angle from a, from about a... A hundred yards out. Smart, I guess. But the seven wood there, gotta work out Not just even a hundred. Yeah, 84. Jordan, let's see it, pal. It's time for the touch shot. Zip one in oh, there close. what a zipper that's going to be. Beautiful. What a shot from Jordan Speed. He gave himself six foot for birdie on the second and missed it. He puts it to half that distance here. And I can guarantee you, he ain't going to miss that one, son. All right, let's see about the spinner. I think I can make the spinner work because it is landing into an upslope. So I want to land this about 34. 33 maybe and just have this zip dead uh i actually was thinking that as well it's too far up here. oh it did release though okay i thought it was gonna stop a lot shorter and it does give us a little bit of a tough putt but we should make this come on yes come on two under two uh sorry one under two three holes we bounce back from the first hole beautifully with back-to-back -back parties. And we join uh, Jordan Spieth at 7-under, which is now fourth place. I thought we were second. Jordan Spieth taps it in. He gets to 8-under, and he's going to be second now. Tied second, apparently. Uh, there's two people that have got to 8-under now, I guess. Who is it? Oh, Denny McCarthy's got to 9-under. Uh, to okay, Denny, calm down. Scotty Scheffler's got back to 18-under after burning the par 5 as well, I think I saw there as well. So, Scotty Scheffler, temporary setback on the first hole there, like myself. Now, 250, downwind, downhill. I want to be landing this like as short as possible here. I would see even less than 220. I'm not even joking, I'm going to hit a 5-iron. Is that crazy? Probably. But watch this. I'm going to show you why it's not that crazy. Just fade a little bit. Fade a little bit. Y use the slope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Use the slope. I told you it's not crazy. Dude, if that was straight, if that had just faded a tiny little bit, it would have been absolutely perfect on distance. But good shot regardless. And we have 10 yards, a little Dr. Chapinski action potentially. Uh, I like this pin position though. It, it kind of leaves you a little bit of room to actually maneuver something. Unlike the other pin positions on this hole where I feel like they're just straight up impossible at times. But yeah, we'll take it. Jordan Spieth. Is going to take uh, take an iron as well, maybe a four or five iron, and see if he can put one close. Oof. Is that going bunker? That's going to be an awkward bunker shot. But to be fair, the AI just seemed like they pitched the bunker shot immediately to where it needs to go, and they just stop it. Pick shots every time. So I don't think they really have too many issues. Gotta be careful of this ball checking up too soon as he'll try to get this just right. Yeah, like that. You just pitch it up there close. 
All right, I mean, it's not a gimme, but he probably will make that for the par. And let's see if we can make something for a little birdie. All right. Six yards, let's go. Breaking. Yeah, come on. Break in. Doctor. Good chip, though. Really nice. Two foot tap in par. Jordan Speed struggling for his par. He's going to grind it out. I expect Jordan to make this, but um, it's always nice to, to see them under a little bit of pressure to make the par at least. And he does make it. Fair play, Jordan. He missed, a, he missed one shorter than that in the second, but when it's for par, they generally make it. Two under through four for Jordan Speed. It's one under through four for myself, although we have a stretch of holes that I really don't like coming up. Five, six, seven, I really don't like. Specifically five and six. I, I think are, are holes that I just don't vibe with at all. <laughs> but I guess it depends on the pin. This hole we've been getting better at. I've been getting better at playing this hole. I, I was struggling with it for a long time, but I think I'm finally getting better at this one. And that's fading a little bit more than I would like, but should be uh, should be relatively okay anyway. So that's, that's just fine. By the way, guys, I will have a course vlog coming soon. Um, so keep an eye out for that. Um, it's recorded and all, and I'm working on that at the moment, so, yeah, keep an eye out for that one. Jordan Spieth rips it up the right side. He barely hit it, though. That's only on, like, 200 yards. 270. Still went 270. Still went about as far as my drives in real life, so even with minus 8% power. So, yeah, if I hit my normal drive... Like, a good drive for me is like 270 at the moment. Then I would be 240 left on this hole. That's crazy. I'd have to hit two drivers to get it here. It's crazy how far the pros hit it, isn't it? It's like insane. Can I hit this? Downhill, but it's into the wind. I'll hit a little bit of a low 5 iron. Oh, no. Stinker. Sit! Sit! Uh, I mean, maybe we can get a spinner close from there. It's not a very good shot, though. How about a little spinner, though? Is it landing on the upslope? I think it will be. Yes. Okay, we can make that work. I'm going to play just left of this. Landed about 13 yards. Just try and get a little quick release. Oh, my God. I thought we'd hold it for a second, you know. It's got seven foot by as well. It nearly went in. How that, how that, that had zero spin on it. Spinner my ass! <laughs> no. No, I don't think I will. I just didn't spin. Did not spin. God damn it, dude. Jordan Spieth turning left to right down the hill for birdie. He makes it. He makes it. He gets to three under through five holes. And Jordan Spieth is lighting up the course like Scotty Scheffler was in round number two. We'll see if he can keep up that consistency, though. So this one turns left to right quite significantly. It's downhill. Um, so I'm going to go with something like this. I have a feeling I might underread this, but... No, it's perfect. Come on! Great save. Great up and down, that is, actually. Beautiful back-to-back -back pars. Let's go, baby. Come on. Danny McCarthy gets the 10 under, though. Okay. We're still inside the top five. So a top five here at the, at the Masters would be a really good finish. We move on to my bogey hole, though. Let's see if uh, if we can make a par here. Maybe even a birdie. Or maybe even a hole in one. Jordan Spieth playing a giga draw. And that's a little bit short. What did he hit? I'd love to know what he hit. Okay, it's a little short and... Is that going to come all the way into the bunker? No, he gets lucky. Yeah, He's going to be chipping it up the hill. It shouldn't be too bad. Uh, I don't know what to play. He, he carried at 172. He want to be carrying it further than that. So I'm going to say maybe a 9-iron? Like a, nine, a full 9-iron here. Please. Oh, that's short as well. Wow, it's no, nowhere close, man. Wow, that's crazy. I was expecting that to be pretty good. It's downhill, downwind. That's why I'd like... I feel like this hole is never as far downhill as you think, though. That's the thing about it. Man, these are rolling. The spinners, even when they're landing on the upslope, are rolling way more than I'm expecting. That's crazy. Are you kidding me with that? Wow. Six foot pass, seven foot pass on the last two spinners. I feel like I played them absolutely the exact way I wanted to. Jordan Spieth. Ooh, he plays a stinker as well, you know. 
He's gonna make that though, watch. Watch! Watch! He's gonna make that. They make par in the stupidest ways, man. Watch this. He's gonna make a par. I guarantee it, son. Jordan Spieth. Ooh, he didn't hit it. Okay. I was wrong! I'll hold my hands up. Alright, Jordan Spieth. Can we make a par though? It would be quite lovely if we could gain one on Jordan Spieth here. Get within one of him. Have a little bit of a battle with Jordan Spieth here all day. It didn't turn in that last little bit. Wow. Wow, that's cruel. It looked so good, man. It looked so good. All right. We're both walking off this hole with bogeys, unfortunately. We move back to level par for the uh, for the round. And Jordan Spieth moves back to two under for the round, I think. He's going to be eight under total. I think we were the same score starting the round, so yeah. All right, well. Not ideal, but... Could be worse, I suppose. Jordan Speed. A little tap in for him there. And he moves back to two under par. He's two shots ahead of us. And he's two shots off second as well, I think. So, all right. The AI has made a bogey, though. Something Scotty Scheffler couldn't do in the 36 holes we played with him. I think he might have made one. But I'm not, I'm not even sure he did, to be honest. We'll take what we can get. Jordan, show us the way. Lead the way, Jordan. Lead the way. Three front bunkers preventing any thoughts of running one up to the green. All right, nicely done. And that will be more than 193 left difficult. for him. He left himself a decent amount left. I, I'm thinking about hitting that little stinger, but after seeing his one there, it kind of made me question things. No, I think we'll keep it under the wind. Yeah, we'll hit a little knockdown and keep it under the wind here. Oh, it's just gone a little bit right on me, but I feel like should be okay still. I don't think it's going to get all the way down. Yeah, nicely done. All right. 276. Imagine hitting a stinger 276. I wish. Is so important. Second shot into that stiff breeze. Jordan Spieth up and over. Great shot. Great shot, but it does tail off a little bit, and that's going to be a tough button there. He'll probably make it, though. He made a bogey now. They have to bounce back, you know? Let's see. 168, 172. I'm thinking of finesse seven. Yeah, that might be too much, so I'm going to take a touch off at 175 shot, maybe. So Actually, it might not be too much, you know. I'm going to go 178 because it's uphill into the wind. Both. It's going to make this difficult. Please be good. Please be good. Please be good on distance. Sit! Catch that hill behind it! It's a beauty, you know. Don't you dare! No way! Oh, I thought that was going to come back towards the hole, not away from it. It's still a good shot, but I thought it was going to be really good. What the hell's up with this shirt? You see the two pockets are like a different color? I think there's supposed to be something there, but I need to change that. That looks weird as hell. <laughs> moving day at the Masters is not going so well for us at the moment. We're moving backwards. Um, well, we're, we're staying the same, really. But moving backwards in the positions because everyone else is under par. Jordan Spieth with a beautiful putt. I told you. He's going to bounce back. They can't allow the AI to make a bogey without a bounce back. Doesn't happen. AI loves a good PBFU, man. They absolutely love it. And this is going to be ridiculously difficult here as well. Like, this is going to be atrociously tough. Let's see. 35, 36. I think it's more. I think it's like 40. Is that crazy? 38. I'm going to go 38. And there's a lot of break in this, especially in the middle part. Smashed it. Just smashed it. Yeah. To be fair, it was too much. I think it would have been alright if I didn't overswing and fast it, but we did, unfortunately. I don't know what to do about this now. It's gonna break a decent amount. Not a holy amount, but a decent amount. Yes! Good save! Good save! Important! Alright, we stay level par. Going over par would be desperate, so we'll take that. We stay under par. As we head to the par five. Scotty Scheffler, level par through six. So, so told you, he might have an okay five, round now that he's not actually with us as the AI. The eight, That's why it would be good if you could, like, switch AI playing partners, eight, partners like, manually. Eight, so then if I played with Scotty one round and he shot, like, eight under, eight, nine under, I could just switch. You know, and play with someone else. And But you kind of have to manipulate it yourself that way. <laughs> At least we know we won't be playing with him in round four. We might not even be playing with Jordan Spieth either. We might be playing with someone even lower. So the scoring might end up actually being a little bit more realistic, at least. But it's when you're in contention. If you're in contention against AI, I feel like we might have a good way to do it. Like, I feel like, okay, so if I'm in contention with AI, I can turn the AI down to like 90 difficulty. I feel like 90 was perfect when playing with the AI. It was really, really good. But then the leaderboards would be a little bit low. But if you have someone to battle the whole time, it doesn't matter, right? So you're battling someone, even maybe like 92 or something like that. Um, but then if they, 
if the AI playing partner goes away and you're not really battling anymore, then you can turn the AI difficulty up to, uh, to 100, um, just so that the leaderboards become a little bit more um, competitive in that way as well. So maybe we just have to do it by switching every now and then, you know? And then we don't have to discuss it as much. I don't have to talk about it as much. We can just kind of go with it. We can talk about it um, when we're actually going to be switching it, and I'll mention it, because I think that is the best way to do it. Switch it every now and then, you know? All right, so Speeth is laid up there. He's probably going to make birdie the uh, the hard old way. We can potentially go for this and make a make an eagle, but we got to get it on the green to start running up. 207 to the front. And that's not going to be enough. I think four iron with a high draw. Try and get this to land on the front of the green and run up towards the back and stop somehow. Stopping it's going to be the hard part, I think. No, that's not good enough. It's going to hit the tree. Shit, man. If that's over the other side of the hill, that's going to be so good, but... Mm. All right, okay. it's not the worst it's position to be in. It's going to be a difficult there. up and down, but it could be worse. If you're down the other side of the hill, it's going to be a lot tougher anyway, so... All right, not the end of the world. We can uh, we can deal with that. Jordan Spieth, let's see if he makes birdie the good old-fashioned way with a layup and a, and a wedge shot. He is going to, no doubt. Seven foot seven inches up the hill for birdie. Jordan Spieth is going to get to four under once again. Or three under, maybe? I'm not sure. No, I think four under. Okay, let's see. Uh, do I want to hit a spinner? Last few spinners have been running out like crazy. It is landing on an upslope still. So maybe I hit a spinner, put max height on it, and just land it a little bit shorter this time. Like 24 yards. Leave leave enough room for like five yards of rollout. Why'd that go so far left? I mean, it's okay. We're going to get a read off speed at least. Jordan speed from left to right. Leaves it short. Okay, it did turn left to right. It did turn left to right. I wouldn't say a significant amount. But as you can see from this, there was definitely a little bit of turn there. And I think if I just power this through the break a little bit, we should be a okay here to make a birdie. Get to seven under. No, you didn't power it through though, did you? You didn't even give it enough. You bloody bum. What are we talking about here? How the hell have you done that then? Wow, that's such a bad power. Especially after seeing Speed leave it short as well, we did the exact okay, same thing. It's quite far, far uphill, you know. That's stupid. Stupid, right, stupid, stupid, stupid. Alright, we're still level par for the round. We really don't have our best stuff here on moving day. Okay, and we're going to be dropping back the leaderboard unless we uh, grab this round by the balls here now in the easy part of the round once we get there. Once we get through to 12, if we can get to 12 at under par, uh, one under or something, then we can still produce a good score, because 13, 14, 15, most scoreable part of the course anyway. Alright, speed, 9 under, at the ninth. Bombs one down there, good drive for Jordan, and that should be A-OK. -okay. He's going to leave himself a little bit of a longer one. To be honest, leaving yourself a longer one on this one is tough, because you can't really dictate the spin then. I'm just going to bomb a driver down there, a little bit of a low draw here, and kind of just get it running down that hill. A little slow. Didn't draw as much as I wanted, but it should be fine. Should be A-OK, -okay, sonny boy. Right, let me plug out my keyboard here. I had it plugged in because it was uh, charging up, but look at that. Look at that roll. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Reach the reach the, the feet of the people there. No, that's a beauty. Let's see if Speeth can put it close first and put some pressure on us. I still think we can catch Speeth. I do. Maybe not. I lied. That's two foot away. <laughs> Whenever you think you, you can finally start to chase the AI, they just kick you in the balls when it's on this difficulty. Okay, I think uphill into the wind, this is maybe enough. It's going to be on the limit. I have to overswing this. Please. Please. Please don't spin. Please don't spin. Please, that's gone. I knew it wasn't enough as well in my head. I should have hit a finesse nine. Right, I think I can just... Literally hit a spinner all the way there. Even if it's past it, that's okay. Just don't leave it short. Yeah, perfect. Good shot. Nice shot. Give ourselves a chance for the par at least. Four foot eight inches. Man, we are just grinding out here today. We do not have our best stuff here uh, in round three of the Masters, but we are grinding. And Jordan Speed here. From left to right, makes a birdie once again now. Four under for the round through nine holes. He's ten under overall, and Jordan Spieth is making his move on moving day, while we are not. Unfortunate, but I think we can make this. Get the par at least, level par front, front nine. Oh. I mean, it's not even close. It's not even remotely close. 
Just didn't turn in like it said it was going to, man. Didn't turn in like it said it was going to. That's a piss take. Okay. Bogey, one over front nine. And uh, not looking good, bruv. It's not looking good, bruv. We birdie two and three, but with three bogeys, and it's just a bit of a topsy-turvy round. Scotty Scheffler still 18 under par. Danny McCarthy 12 under, was it? Was I, was I seeing that right? Man, the menu's loading this quickly is crazy, like, because I'm used to playing 2K and checking the menus there. It's night and day the difference. And we are down now to T8. We're no longer inside the top five. And we're getting pegged back a little bit there. So we need to we need to come up with a few birdies here on the back nine. And maybe finish two or three under here on the back nine. And see if we can get back into that top five and give ourselves a chance at least for Sunday. Let's see it, Jordan. All right. Hold on, Jordan. Nicely done. Nicely done, Jordan. Whoa, well done. All right, with that wind, I'm going to hit my stinger. Because uh, the draw isn't really going to work. I'm just going to hit a low little bullet stinger here. Watch this. Oh, so good. Don't clip that train. It's fine. Yes, sir. That's so good. The stinger just works perfectly there. Lovely stuff. The Tiger Woods stinger. And we get it down there 300 yards plus. Yeah, 323 we drove that with a, with a stinger. That's beautiful. Down the hill here worked perfectly. Jordan Spieth has a long second shot in. We'll see if he can continue his hot streak here on the back nine. Hopefully not. Jordan Spieth hits an absolute stunner. That's going to spin right as well. What? It doesn't actually, but still a good chance for a birdie. But that's not enough. I'm going to hit a finesse 8-iron, I think. Yeah, finesse 8-iron is perfect. High one, too. I want this close. It's got a little ride on me, but it should be pretty good, I think. Yeah, that's pretty good. Spins to the right a little bit, but good, good, good shot and downhill putt for a birdie. We have a chance. I don't remember this jumper being like that before, though, with the like two weird pocket things. Did they have to take like some sponsors off or something? I think this is a Nike top, though, so I can't see why. All right, didn't give it enough break. Two foot for a for a par and stay one over. It's a it's a really disappointing round so far from Charlie Woods, but it's his first weekend at Augusta. You can't get too upset with the young lad. All right. First weekend at Augusta. You can get upset at me who's controlling him, but not the man himself. And Jordan Speed burns the edge there. Charlie Woods, y'all. Charlie, Charlie Woods, y'all. All right, nicely done. Things are looking on the up and up here. Not really. All right, well done, Jordan. Well done, Jordan, mate. We head to one of the harder holes on the course now. Already one over. Could really do with a birdie here. We're just still inside the top 10, though, so it's not bad, you know? It's just we need to be better if we want to be competing here in the top five and stuff like that. We're eight shots off uh, off Denny McCarthy in second. Like, that's uh, considering we started the round, what, bloody one shot back of second, I think? Two shots back a second, something like that. This one moving just All right, Jordan Speed. What the hell? Barely even hit it, lad. You barely even hit it, you little baby. All right, let's bomb one down there. Bang! Let's go, baby. This may be a touch Look right. at that. Get left. Get left. Get left. Yes. Yes. Beautiful. Beautiful, baby. That time to stand up, my watch said. How about no? How about that? I won't stand up. I'm sitting down, son. That's a beauty from Jordan Speed. That's going to be so good. Oh, it didn't actually get the kick I thought it would, but still pretty good. Right, a little bit of tree trouble. Really, it's not going to affect us too much at all, considering the wind anyway. So, we're going to go one club less, definitely. I would think even two clubs less. Maybe a finesse. Finesse eight? Or I could just do a full eight, you know, I think. Or a full nine. Maybe not. Maybe not. That's going to be short, I think. I'm going to hit finesse eight. Finesse eight, take a little touch off it here. 162, something like that, and then we'll play that. That's so good. Come on. Holy shit, did the wind affect that more than I anticipated. Wow, are you kidding me with that? It was only 8 miles an hour, not 50. Are we kidding with that? Alright, I'm going to hit a chip here, I think. I'm going to try to chip this close. I've got a feeling. That tonight's going to be a good night. Terrible. Just absolutely abysmal. Terrible chip. Exactly How's that gone that far then, though? How'd that go that far? I hit minus 4%. 
Bloody hell, mate. Jordan Speed, he's gonna chip it in, is he? No, he's not. He's doing that. He's done the same as me. It's, uh, I think it's like deceivingly downhill there or something. Like it's a little bit more downhill than you're anticipating or something, but. All right, Charles, let's do it. Oh no. You're kidding me. No way. No, flat out no way. I can't believe it, we're two over. I have titty patches on my jumper and we're two over. What could be worse right now? Good Lord. Moving day at the Masters is not going to plan for myself. And not for Jordan Speed there either. But in general, it's going, uh, going to plan for Jordan Speed. I can't believe that that turned that much, my one. That's crazy. Jordan Speed is literally, his marker is literally in the hole. That's crazy. All right. Another bogey. Three bogeys in the last six holes for myself. And that has dropped us back to two over for the round. We need some birdies coming in here big time if we want any hope of uh, coming back from this. I can't remember the last time I've shot over a par in this game. Scotty Scheffler over par as well, though. Look at that. Danny McCarthy's going to win the Masters. <laughs> Imagine. That would be hilarious. Jordan Spieth, show us the way. Where Jordan Spieth Masters fell apart. Back in 2015, 16, something like that. I can't even remember, to be honest, now at this point. It's so long ago. Maybe it was actually later than that. I don't know. But either way. Place of misery for Jordan Spieth. It's not gonna, he's not going in the water today, I can tell you that much. He's making sure he didn't go in the water there. <laughs> Minus 8% power and he's still 15 yards over the green. Right, that wind is... I hate the way they do the wind on this hole though. It's like, it's so stupid the way they do it. Right, I think this could actually be splendid. No, the wind's into us now though. Not really adding up. Not really making much sense. That's in the water. Oh, Catch a piece of the bunker. Promising. Catch a piece of the bunker. Catch a piece of the bunker, please. See ya. Uh -oh, that, that's gonna this is a disaster. This is an Short absolute unmitigated disaster here, boys. Like, what is going on? It's a Saturday meltdown at the Masters. Oh, God. Are you kidding me? What are we talking about here now? Spins into the bunker? Bloody hell! This is outrageous, this. Filthy, 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 filthy. Alright, I'm gonna blast it. I'm gonna hold it. Go in. Are you kidding me? It, it <laughs> okay, that's out of the sand and this the is one of the most disastrous rounds we've ever had. No. We're having a Jordan Spieth like meltdown here on this very hole. Strokes. Jordan Spieth is going to bogey it as well, it looks like. At least a bogey, yep. It's going to be a bogey for Spieth. I don't think he's gonna it's going to be a double for me Frank, but if I make this. No, but you'd expect from there to sort of get it within Shouldn't make this, distance. though. This doesn't look too work. difficult. Yes, sir. Good double putt, I guess. Two under. We've gone from six under to two under. Four over for the round. Bogey, double bogey there on the last two holes. Not good. Jordan Spieth is going to drop back a little bit here. I'm rubbing off on him a little bit. And Jordan Spieth is going to make a bogey as well. Okay. Back to back bogeys for Jordan Spieth. He moves to eight under. And this is a much more realistic round from Spieth than we've seen from the likes of Scheffler. Like, I, if they are to play like this. All the AI could play now like speed. Be perfect. <laughs> Azalea, here we go. The easy part of the course. If I can make a couple of birdies at least and stop the rot. Just stop the rot. I haven't had a birdie since the third hole, man. Just somehow stop the rot. Please. Jordan Speed buries one down here. Yeah, that's going to take Meltdown at the Masters is going to be the title of this video. A meltdown at the Masters. I'm going to have Jordan Spieth in the thumbnail, though, to throw people off. All right. What a drive. That's filthy. That's the best drive I've ever hit in this game. Actually, genuinely, might be the best drive I've ever hit in this game. <laughs> 325. Simply, simply lovely. 174 left on the par 5. We're going to be hitting a bloody 9-iron in on a par 5 here. Bryson DeChambeau-style stuff here. Jordan Spieth. Turning it in from right to left. A low ball. That's in the water. Oh, what? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, Jordan? 
I mean, this Come on, man. What did I just witness? That looked like it was water bound, and he somehow finds a way to make that jump up and go. To get it off that uneven line, Absolutely perfect. All right, I'm going to hit this nine iron. I'm going to hit a full. Eesh! I'm going to bomb a nine iron, and we're going to get it there. Watch. This one's looking good. Oh, it's a beauty. It's an absolute stunner. It's a stunner. And we have a chance for an eagle here. Driver nine iron from the big beast himself, Charlie Woods. That's how we do it. All right, let's see if we can make an eagle, though. Jordan's somehow closer than me. But I would love an eagle right now. I would love it if we beat him. Love it. What does my shadow kind of look like a penis? You should see a doctor for that shit. Charlie! No! Ooh, one. Let's see if Jordan makes the eagle, though. To get back to 10 under after back to back bogeys. Jordan Speed, that Azalea makes it. What an eagle yes, for Jordan Speed. He got a little lucky with the approach shot, but you gotta take advantage of your luck, and he does ju just that. But we have our first birdie since the, uh, since the third hole, at least, so. Like Can't that. complain too much. Would have been nice to get the eagle, but it's a bounce back birdie after the double on 12. All right. Let's go. Jordan Spieth. Bombs it down there. Bombs away, son. Good shot. Good shot, sir. 178 left for Jordan. Let's try to make a little bit of a birdie streak now. Now that we've got one, I'm feeling greedy. I'm feeling a little greedy, baby. Come on. Big draw well, here. Should the left bound on a little bit. Leave us just a wedge. Great shot. Lovely stuff. Shot Thank you very hill. much. Jarton Speed. Bombs it up there. That's an absolute stunner. In the hole nearly. It is going to roll out a little bit, but good shot from Jordan. It's as lucky as they come, this fella. The fairway, I'm Iona, in full pitch, much. Second. One, three, one, all the way to the flag today. That's not good. And that wind, it's coming from right to left. So you I need you to kick left to somehow. It's not right going to kick left. Hey, it's not the worst in the world, I guess, if it stops there. Yeah, it's an uphill birdie putt. I, I suppose That's it's not too bad. Shot. Could be worse. Let's see what you got first, Jordan. 20 foot for, for birdie. It's got to 11 under. And we won't be playing with Jordan in round four either, you know. We're going to be playing, uh, playing with someone lower down the pecking order. Jordan Speed. Oh, my. This is going to be a turner for me here. See if we can make it. Come on. Get in there. Get in there, baby. Oh, my. Gosh. It looked so good. I thought it was just going to turn in there. Can't complain. Nice little par on this ult. Steady the ship. After the birdie on the last. Steady the ship after the birdie as if I bloody made an eagle or something. Come on. Maybe finish the round level par after all. Who knows? I'd need to go three under for the last four to shoot level par. It's possible. All right, we're not even in the top 15 anymore. We started in T3, T4, something like that. And we're not even in the top 15 anymore. So not a good day for Charlie so far. But uh, we'll see if we can turn it around here at the 15th. 555, 551 yard par five, rather. That one hit the tree a little bit. So I think Jordan's going to be taking a little layup option here. A little baby Jordan, 288 left. If he goes for that, he's an absolute maniac. But knowing Jordan's speed, who knows? I'm going to bomb this down there and have an iron in. Watch this. Come come play a home with me here at Augusta, boys. Because I'm going to eagle this. Calling it now. I'm going to bomb it near 400 yards. I'm going to hit a nice little mid-iron in there. Look at that. 350 nearly. 358 yards there. 190 left. Down the hill. Downwind. That's going to be a 9-iron. Like, not even, not even exaggerating. That's going to be a 9-iron. So, let's see if we can make an eagle here. Jordan Spieth. He is going to be taking it down. Oh my god, he went for it! That's going to go all the way into the water over the back. I don't think I've ever seen anyone go into the water over the back. And he does. Oh my, Jordan. Wow. What did I just witness? Right, well, we need to make sure that doesn't happen. What's the front of the green? The front of the green is 180. It's going to be even less than that. I'm going to say a 172 club is nearly too much. But I'm going to hit, I'm going to hit it at like 170. And we're going to stop this dead next to the pin and make an eagle. Too far. I hit it fast. That's not even enough. Sit! Oh, it's too much. Make up your mind, dum dum. It's off the green. No, it's not. <laughs> the amount of times I just contradicted myself in the space of 15 seconds was kind of insane, honestly. 
All right, let's go. We have a chance. We have a chance for an eagle. We're putting. Jordan Spieth, on the other hand, needs to get up now for par. He's gone in the water again. Oh, you lucky boy, Jordan. You lucky, lucky boy. <laughs> I thought he was going in the water again, 100% there. All right, come on. This is the time to make a putt now, boys. Eagle putt upcoming here at Firethorn. Firethorn National, baby. All right, it turns, but it's not like crazy. I got this. That's terrible. Hmm. Yep, not bad. Had to put a okay, two foot 11 inches for another birdie. We get back to four under at least. We're bloody 12 shots off the lead or something, but nope, we're like 14 shots off the lead actually. But it's okay. Jordan Spieth is going to walk off with a bogey at least. He's having a little bit of a disaster on this hole. Yeah, that's a good roll All right, good seven footer there for Jordan to make the bogey. It's going to be something a little bit more special for us here. It's going to be a perfect. <laughs> we haven't had too many of them today, but uh, this has been a, a crazy round, man. What have we had? Four bogeys, four birdies, and a double. So we're two over. Four birdies, four bogeys, and a double. Scotty Scheffler back to 18 under, but Denny McCarthy is coming after him. Denny McCarthy is going low right now. He is seven under for his round through 14 holes, and he's gaining on Scotty Scheffler like you wouldn't believe it. Scotty Scheffler is shaking in his boots right now. Denny McCarthy, one of us. All right, let's see if we can put one close here. I hate this pin position. It's so difficult. It's like such a small little landing area. But I think a nine iron. Put it close. Move on. Put it close. Make birdie. Move on. That is so bad, it's insane. I can't even explain to you how terrible that is. Really, truly just have not had our best stuff here today, guys. Can't say anything, anything more than that. This has just been a dog shit round of golf. Jay Spizzle. That's awful, too. Jordan Spieth has been playing some Jordan Spieth golf. He's had some really good stuff and some really not so good stuff. Sometimes it may be good, sometimes it may be shit. Right, this turns like a mother trucker. I'm not even going to lie to you. This turns like a mother trucker. It's uphill, but then it's downhill. So I'm not going to actually play too much uphill in, the, in this shot. But watch this putt. Oh, I still didn't give it enough break, man. I gave it so much break. Ah, five foot four inches, though. That shouldn't be too bad. Touch. It's his second. Okay, Jordan. Well done. Well done. Well done, Jordan. Bang it up there, baby. Let's go. Yes! So oh, I thought it was missing low for a second. Par. Come on, we need to finish birdie birdie to shoot lava par. To be honest, that's highly unlikely considering how hard 17 and 18 are. But even if we can birdie one of them, shoot a one over round, it's, I mean, it's not the worst round in the history of Augusta. You know, it's, it's pretty bad by our standards, but it's not too terrible. It's not, it's not the end of the world. We might actually play with Jordan Spieth again, considering how bad some of the... Next up, Some of the holes he's played here on the back nine are. Let's bomb one up there, boys. Driver gang! That's left. That's left. This one's starting a little left Kick. off the tee. Man, I've just been missing in places I don't normally miss. That's the worst Man, possible place you can miss. Unless pins out to the right, it should be okay. But if pins on left, we're screwed. I can't remember what round three is. If it is, we're in big trouble. I'm gonna have to play a Bubba hook. A Bubba golf hook. All right, Jordan. Fair play. Well done. Little three wood, what a baby. 250 to left. <laughs> nah, 200 left, but. Alright, let's see if Jordan can uh, finish with a couple of birdies. Maybe play himself into uh, contention on Sunday. At least contention for a runner up. So if Scotty shoots level par, he'll probably win the tournament tomorrow. Maybe not, though, the way Denny's playing. Denny could have a chance. Denny's 14 on through 15. I wonder if he'll make a bogey or two on the way in, or is he going to maybe make a birdie and get closer to Scheffler? Scheffler still has three holes left as well. Jordan Spieth hits someone. Boom! Oh, no! Jordan's killed another audience member. Yes, it is to the left. It's as far left as it could possibly be. It's in potentially the worst position it could ever be in, unfortunately, for my shot here. But that's okay. Who needs him, right? I'm going to try something. I hit him. Yeah! This just sucks. I'm gonna play a spinner. We gotta land this short though, because this landing on a down slope is the problem. That's just that is stinky. Okay, it actually caught a piece nicely. Caught a piece nicely. We'll take that, Charlie Woods. Let's go. 
Jordan Spieth is dead as well. Two horrible positions here. We'll be lucky to make a par. A disastrous round three here has taken us completely out of contention. Uh, and Jordan Spieth puts one close. Beautiful shot from where he was there. Really nicely done. I wonder Certainly if that was a spinner as well or was that a pitch shot or what? I'd be interested to see. But either way, pretty good shot from Jordan. Together. And what about myself here? What do I have? It's breaking right to left quite significantly, I'd say. I'm going to putt this, of course. There's no way I'm, uh, no way I'm chipping this. From such a short range. Oh, my God, dude. Mm. Turn like crazy. We turn like there. crazy. It's going to be a tap-in bogey here. Back to four under. No, back to three under, right? Back to three over for the round, unfortunately. Horrible. Horrible stuff. Horrible, 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 horrible. Three over round. This might be the worst round I've had on the channel in quite some time. Charlie Woods just wasn't in it here at the weekend. His first weekend, he felt the pressure. It's as simple as that. You know, it's nerves. Sometimes you just have to admit that. It's nerves for Charlie Woods here. All the best players in the world. Scotty Scheffler makes a bogey. He's now 17 under. Crazy thing is, if we had actually put in a really good round today, like say if we had shot maybe a five under round or something, we'd be in contention to potentially win this thing. <laughs> like, that's the crazy part about this. Because we wouldn't be playing with Scheffler, but we'd still be good enough to potentially have a go at it on Sunday. We would have had to go really low, don't get me wrong, but it would have been possible. All right. Nicely done, Jordan. Good shot. Right, so let's just nuke a driver high high cut and just try and stop it short of that bunker if we can. Perfect. Just perfect. It's going to stop right there. Beautiful shot. 167 yards. Let's finish with a birdie at least. All right, let's finish strong here, guys. Come on. No bullshit. Let's finish strong. His second at 18. His second at 18. Jordan Speed. Can he finish with a birdie? That's a beauty from Jordan Spieth. Oh, that's gorgeous. Simply, simply lovely from Jordan Spieth. Stops it with a bloody killer into the hill there. It's beautiful. And now I have an eight iron here. I'm going to put this close. Watch. Told you. Told you. I told you. Don't you dare come back down. You are a scumbag of the highest caliber. You know that? Just an absolute dirt bag. Because that this putt is so yeah, ridiculous. Really this putt, I've had this putt many a time, and it is just, just not easy at all, man. I'm just gonna go 75 foot. I don't know. That's probably too much, but screw it. I'm going for it. Full send. Actually, didn't hit it. It would have been good if I didn't underswing it. You know. I don't know why I felt like I had to underswing that one. Just silly mistake after silly mistake today, guys. It's been an absolute disaster on moving day. We've moved in the wrong direction. Jordan Spieth has moved up the leaderboard a little bit, though. He had a topsy-turvy round, but he finishes it at four under par. Really, really a weird round for Jordan Spieth. A lot of crazy stuff going on there. What is happening? Turns, it's up the hill. Just give it a little bash in there. You wish your life could change, but you do nothing to make that actually happen. Well, I mean, if that doesn't sum up the day, I don't know what to tell you guys. I do not know what to tell you guys. Okay, a shake of the head. Bogey, bogey finish here. It's a four over round for Charlie Woods, and it's probably the worst round of his PGA Tour career. We still are inside the top 20, but a really, really terrible round. Scotty Scheffler leads by three over Denny McCarthy, who shoots a 64 to fire himself into contention on Sunday. It's going to be a shootout between Scotty and Denny here on Sunday. Jordan Spieth and Taylor Pendrick just a little bit too far back, you'd have to think. Um, and we are going to be battling to finish inside the top 10 if we can put together a really good round here. But we really need to be better than we were here because that was utterly, utterly pathetic. Um, I don't know what to say about how bad that round was. Just terrible, but it's okay. We need to change that shirt immediately. Never again. Let's see who we're playing with in, uh, in round number four here. I'm interested. We're playing with Patrick Cantley. Oh, Lord. The anti-three putt jumper. <laughs> That's kind of funny, but I don't want it. Ooh, that's kind of clean with the little purple, the purple lavender sleeves. All right, we're going with this. We're rocking with it. Screw it. Let's do it. Screw it. Let's do it. That's what we're going with for round three outfit now. Anyway, guys, that's where we're going to end the video. Thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Make sure to drop a like. It's the best way to let me know you enjoy the content. We'll be back with more EA Sports PGA Tour, and we'll be back for the final round of the Masters in the next video. I'll see you guys then. We won't be in contention, but we'll be battling for top 10. See you then.